Are you not entertained? Isn't that why you come here? Kelly, come over to check out my signal. I just shook his hand and look what fell in the All mind. Right, we're here with Alan, and in your best main accent, describe what you found. Well, down east, no, I can't do an accent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew he was holding out over here while we were over there digging junk. <laughs> Alexis, Alexis, record video. <laughs> All right, welcome back. I got invited to go to a little group hunt over in Bucksport by Mike Underwood and his friend J Jamie. In Bucksport, Maine, there's this famous story about this. All right, the curse goes like this. Stain that keeps showing up on the monument of Colonel Jonathan Buck, who was the founder of the town of Bucksport. And supposedly he was a ladies' man. He got a woman pregnant and tried to hide her away. But he ended up burning her at the stake as a witch. The leg rolled out of the bonfire. The son of the woman hauled it off and put a curse on Colonel Buck. Now there's some holes in the story. You can go online and look it up, see why that may not be true. But there's another one that maybe his wife was the one who actually put the curse on him. What the curse is, is a witch's foot that shows up on the uh, monument for Colonel Buck. Supposedly they've tried to remove it tried to change the monument and it keeps coming back. When we were in Bucksport, Mike Underwood took me over to have a look at it. I had to had to see it in person and there was something else in that graveyard. And there happens to be a black cat over there. How ironic is that? Here kitty kitty. You know, well, I'm parties out here. Up there in that corner, I'm thinking yeah. there might be some. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we can't go on the church property because she doesn't own that. But yeah. Yeah. in this field, she's more than uh, happy to. So the church property is that shrub up there? I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. I, she didn't really say. No. 1868, right. you said? 1868. Yeah. We're in Bucksport today. And we've got Dennis. Do we need to run your intro? No. Yeah, I think we do. No. <laughs> I think we do. <laughs> we got Ezra. Hey. Ezra knows what I'm talking about. We got Jamie, Mr. Mr. Bucksport on the middle of the table. And our host is uh, Mike Underwood. Also going? known as Mike Underwood on YouTube. What are we going to find today, Rich? We're going to find all kinds. Nice. All right. The DF Digger right here, Dennis. And I got my first find right here. First signal. And I got a little clock winder. How awesome is that, huh? That's entertaining for sure. Okay, if we find anything else, we'll be right back. With Mike, he's got an Indian, it looks like, of some sort. A little musket ball. Good start. Good start. All right, Mike wants me to do a live dig, so he wants to dig something that isn't something good. If it ends up being something not good, it's not my fault. I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> curse the Richie. And he thinks it's something good. Down there, pretty good, huh? Yeah. I think he moved it, yeah. Well, you can delete that. I, I warned you, no, no. <laughs> That's staying. All right, Ezra is on the board. He's got a large scent. My second one this year. Looks like one of the, uh, there's one cent. Yeah, the other side, I can't tell if it's the uh, matron or the braided, because he's a little crusty still. Yes. Looks like the, uh, the older one. Yeah, it looks like 1830s model. Yeah. Awesome. Can't complain about that. Nope. Sideways. Sideways. Okay. All right, I got a high tone, and I'm going to jinx myself with the live dig. Not, not stepping it. 
dog turd or whatever that is. Here she is, I guess. Alright, where'd you go? Right there. Right in this. Well, it's a coin. Of some sort. And I'm thinking it's a memorial penny. <laughs> <laughs> The live dig does it again. <laughs> it did sound good though. So, I'm three quarters blind, so. <laughs> Looking any better? You get anything, Jamie? Nothing. Dennis, anything? All rosy and a bunch of farm equipment. Well, I did get a Woody. <laughs> well, we don't need to hear about that. Oh, it says Woody's on the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I just got the 18. I can't tell what the hell's going on after that. I, I got a watch winder, a clock winder. Nice. First hole it does. All right, we've changed locations, and Dennis is uh, his first holy dug, isn't it? Yeah. Old Rosie. Uh, old Silver Roosevelt dime. It's on the board. All right, I've got something here, an iron D buckle, probably pretty old. We're on a little field down below. There's a foundation around here somewhere too. So uh, Jamie just found a, what we believe to be a token of some sort. We'll have a look at that when we catch up with them later. Well, I got myself a little white bullet. This is one ringer, the flat bottom. I don't believe it's Civil War era, but not far from it. Maybe it is. Maybe it's something I haven't come across yet, but usually you get one ring and a flat bottom. It's usually not. Okay, we'll see you at the next. It's really is nice down here by the lake. Even if we don't find much here, we still got time. What an awesome foundation that is down here by the lake. And we're out facing towards the lake. Like we just had something to eat and turned on our machines and Dennis has got a I think it's a half cent. Look looks a little smaller than a regular. I can't see guys. My eyes are so friggin' bad. Can you get a hand on it? Yeah, yeah, I think she's half an or at least a one cent. I'm gonna scout this head? area around. I was gonna say, this, uh, <coughs> this might be the place to be hunting. <laughs> well, we normally come out and immediately go away. That's thick, too. But... You look, look what's behind. It's a large cent, one cent. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't it say half cent? No, it says one cent. Nice. Turn your eyes. So, remember that old road <laughs> I said? Right there. Yep. Awesome. Good, good job. That's fantastic. Cool. Now the others did better than I did. Maybe I was cursed by that black cat. Curse or no curse? Thanks for stopping by. Good luck and happy hunting.